Hello, everybody. Got any wood? Wood elves. So wood elves are a bit of a bad matchup, but obviously three journeyman skinks is good. Got 140k TV advantage. He got. What has he got? Um, oh, he's won one, lost two. So maybe he's not the best. Didn't get to look at his team to see if he had. Um, see if he had strip. But he's got the wizard, so it's going to be tricky. Um, yeah. Ah, yeah. That's a good idea. Jam toast. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just have a voice command that I play. Just a voice file that I play every time a VIP enters. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm just my little soundboard. Get the soundboard back just to play VIP entrances and, and other things. Um, all right, yeah. What happened, Hessian, was... Oh, God. Um, after smashing the lizards, got smashed by 1770 Nurgle. And then... The, the best thing ever happened. The game glitched out. I couldn't do anything. So people were like, you can quit and rejoin. So I quit, couldn't rejoin, counted as a concession. And uh, so yeah, I got two losses. And I was so pissed off about that that I started playing Football Manager. Hello, Tony plays poorly. Um, yeah, so I was pretty fucking pissed off. Oh yeah, and the one important part was... I, I edited the YouTube video, so it starts with this. A skink level up and roll double six after after the match. Um, so I chose Hail Mary Pass and fired him. Um, and got rewarded with... <laughs> got rewarded with 1770 Nurgle. <laughs> so... Yeah, chat informed me that I'd be punished, and I was indeed. Yeah. I was punished for not taking that double six. Tell the devil they won. They won, Hesia. <laughs> to be fair, it's not even that bad with um, with there not being money on the line. Um, if there if there'd be money on the line, I would ask them and they would say no. <laughs> but seeing as there's no money on the line, it's not even worth asking them, is it? Doesn't really matter if I'm not top lizards or top. I thought I could have been top of the ladder with this team, but those two losses have really. Uh, Especially with one not even being a real loss, it really fucked us. So what's he got? He's got a strength up. He's got no tackle even, so... This shouldn't be too hard, but he can still leap in, can't he? And two or one dice the ball. I don't even have that much Mighty Blow anymore after... Oh yeah, Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow, block Mighty Blow, Saurus die. Which, uh, wasn't... Wasn't ideal. So yeah, it was a pretty bad. Pretty, I, I conceded on like turn three against the Nurgle when they uh, when they made their first permanent injury, which the Apple failed. I was like, right, I'm not going to stick around for this. Yeah, I am. I'm, I wouldn't go so far as to say excited, because you know the new teams are nothing for me. Um, there's nothing for me with the new teams, especially as. You know, I, 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 fucking, I'm still a bit down about the whole streaming thing because because when Champ Ladder, you've got to play Champ Ladder, haven't you? You've just got to. If you, like, you know, if you're streaming and that, if you're streaming full time, you have to stream Champ's Ladder. If you're streaming Champ's Ladder and there's 500 fucking euros on the line, you might as well try for that 500 euros. So. Maybe I should just not try. He's a blitzer skink person. Always good information. It's like it's like when you call. It's like I often I often I I didn't have to here because he ran around, but I often put a skink. I often put a skink out in a in a place where if they if they blitz them, it's not good for them. Positionally, to blitz a skink. And then it, it see, just to see if they go for it, and it's a bit like calling somebody, calling somebody in poker to see what they've got, isn't it? You take a bit of a hit, but at least you know what kind of person they are. And uh, he's definitely a a blitz, a blitz, a skink kind of chap. Could make it three dice, and I guess there's no reason not to because all the skinks are going to do otherwise is chill out. 
Obviously, I could have placed him into another block, but still, three dice with tackle. You gotta, uh, you gotta hope it's gonna work, don't you? Should have done that first. Should have done the safe moves first. The standing up balls too. And I think I see might as well base him, seeing as he's double based. Would it need three players to block him? Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Go up here and then stop him going on there a bit. I was going to leave him there to sandwich the war dancer, but there's no need now, is there? With him getting stunned. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah so I'm just not really that excited. I, I, I think, you know, the... Or was it Sunny? I just didn't give a shit. Um, well, there you go. He's an Inarian. He's an Inarian kind of person. Um, yeah, and still went for a three plus pass. I mean, maybe he didn't realize it was Sunny because I didn't know it was Sunny. But, um, wow, outrageous. Outrageous play there. Um, yeah, what was I? What was I thinking? Yeah, the, I'm. I'm, ex I'm not excited, but I'm interested in the res and the team editor. They're, they're the things, and the mixed race as well. The daily quests in Crusaders of the Lost Idols are funny, aren't they? Some of the some of the dailies are click two thousand times, <laughs> and other dailies are unlock ten areas. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty fucking crazy. Right, it might be bad to have so many journeyman skinks now, because the skinks are probably gonna. He's probably gonna base them, isn't he? And let them block people. But hopefully mighty blows do things. Oh, that was terrible. What did I even do then? I can't believe I set up like that. He'll get a blitz now. All I had to do was set up against blitz. Lucky. All I had to do was that was a horrible setup there. Holy shit! I was thinking of like you know going along the line and everything, but I totally should just set up anti blitz. But got lucky. Well, he doesn't have too much dodge, thankfully, so it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Did I get a reroll? Oh, I four rerolls. Definitely go for the pick up then. Maybe just stay out of range of the war dancers. And in fact, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, everything's okay. I'm back. I've been back for a few days, but I guess it's going to take a while for people to... For everybody to realise I'm back, eh? Right, now I can just block this without a reroll. Uh-huh, of course. This was the weakness of, of blocking down this line, was that then it would give up the... 
I didn't, by making that block first, it was kind of better, but also it was the risk of not being able to block at all, wasn't it? I can leave him in contact though, because they're fucking badasses. Hello, Bleeding Hippie. Bleeding Hippie's back as well. From Germany. Funnily enough. Oh, I'm letting a 3 plus 2 plus there. That isn't very good, is it? I guess he'll go for that. I would go for that. Get a cheeky, canoring threat. Got to remember the wizard, haven't I? That's huge. Huge. Have to remember the wizard. Can't sideline cage. Yeah, German sausage. Curry versed. Yeah, bratwurst. Curry versed. Bratwurst is the without the sauce. Yeah. German sausage. It's a hard. It's a hard country to try to eat healthy in, isn't it? It's hard to have. Chicken, brown rice, and broccoli when you can have curry birds. Ah, he didn't go for the 3 plus 2 plus. I guess he had a 2 plus out anyway, so. Yeah, he's only got a 3 dodge, hasn't he? So it's not so. But he's just given us, given us a war answer. Hanging a war answer out to dry is funny isn't it because I mean I've got plenty of time there's no way I'm not going to go for that and a one dice blitz <laughs> assist with a strength four one dice blitz. weird I mean these are the one dice blocks that I hate you know like sure you can argue that he gets a bit of positional room by um by you know like you can argue that he'd rather have the guys where they are but he could have just made that two dice there was no real cost to make it two dice, was there? And he just didn't. Um, I conceded by accident, Lemon is good. Um, you know, not to blame the people in chat, but people in chat said that I could concede, and that I could quit and return. So I quit and I couldn't return. And it was, um, it was pretty shit. Because there, there was a... Yeah, that's good that they're both, both are on there, yep. Yeah. So I can definitely move down round to this side. Activate him. Yep. Yeah. So ooh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't actually. I'll just base him up. Oh, I don't know. No, no. Double, double, double man's there. He might. He might fireball here. So I have to uh, put more shit in the way in case he does fireball, don't I? Like, although I'm giving him more of a fireball, it's also less likely for him to get the ball from it, isn't it, if I pile in. Uh -huh. And of course, of course, don't get the knockdown there. I guess I might as well face him, because even if it takes three players to knock him down, at least it's taken three players, including his ward answer. No fireball. Yeah, maybe I should have done because I have four rerolls. You're quite right. You're quite right. I probably should have done. The reroll would have been a two and a four, so I'd have just pushed him still. Um. Yeah, there's lots of Lona skinks. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I can see the barracks and because I should have alt F forward, but I quit the game. And um it cost me, cost me. Cost me here. Mm. Yeah, there's something like twelve three three now, maybe because of the one loss to seventeen seventy Nurgle and uh one loss back and but yeah I probably should have greeted it. I mean he's a fucking war dancer, isn't he? If anything's worth greeting it's a fucking war dancer, so But then yeah I could have greeted it, double skull died, couldn't I? So There you go, but instead he rolls the one. If he double ones this, I'll imagine that would have been the greed block. <laughs> now, the unfortunate thing is I'm going to have to dodge away now, isn't it? Because that's going to be... It's either three dice blitz in, or blitz with him, one, two, three, four, five, six... He could blitz there and then go out all over here. He has given us a 3D, yeah. So it's either 3D the war dancer. I guess I don't need a blitz to, to get up this way. So. So I could just 2 plus dodge away. But I guess I want to free up these skinks anyway. So. Just 2 dice, fine. Pushing him is fine. The following three days. Bit of hot finger bus action here. Three dice with the crocs, yeah. Yeah, you've got to L screen correctly. That's uh, it's very important. That's an easy leap in. Maybe I shouldn't have made that at two dice because I wanted somebody there, didn't I? Fuck. Fuck. You can leap in for two easily. Shit. What a shit cunt, eh? Probably should have just moved him in there and then dodged away. Pretty annoying. They are pretty annoying wood elves because it it hardly matter well it hardly matters what he does, does it? Whatever happens, he's almost certainly gonna get a three plus to two dice me. Um Unless he's just shit and does it like this. Unless he does it first. <laughs> Alright. Luckily he was awful. He was awful and didn't base him. So it would have been a one dice anyway, so Luckily, he played awful and deserved that. But, you know, it's just entirely on the person playing the Wood Elves, isn't it? See, I think that's why... That's why, um... Inarian does so well on the ladder. Is because most people he plays aren't very good. And... They're gonna... They're gonna expose the ball to the Wardens, aren't they? Like, easily. 
like um, I, I did there, you know. I, I would have probably lost against Inari in there by exposing that to that to that thing. It is hard to, to never expose it like that. Um, I don't know why I did that there. Go a bit so that protect against the wizard, isn't it? Is a uh, is definitely a thing. You will blitz this guy. I'm pretty sure you'll go for that skin command. But still, only a two dice. So. Ah, fuck it. Go with him and then. Yeah, if he fireballs, he's still got to blitz one of these and run through. It's it's not easy, is it? It's kind of like double screen. And that. I think he's. I think he'd have to pressure hard next turn. I think this is a decent, decent defense now. But yeah, I mean, I fucked up there, letting in three plus two dice my ball. So against Inarian, you just lose then, don't you? Probably. Well, he, as he, as it was, Inarian would have failed the leap as well. But um, that's definitely. Like, for the ladder, I'm okay with the Inarian style because I think defensively, like, offensively, bash against Wood Elves, it's so hard. Because if you make a mistake, they're going to get the ball off you pretty much. And once they're at a certain level, the level of their play doesn't really matter. I don't think it would make. It would make much difference whether it was me or Ducky or Inarian or Pete W or whatever, you know, or Purple Goo. Obviously, we'd all play a bit differently and some would play better than others. But ultimately, it would come down to more how the offense played than how the defense played, I think, against, against what else. Oh, I'm hungry as fuck now. Yeah, maybe you could bolt. Yeah, maybe you could just bolt and just try and kill that that skink here. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be carrying it on my super skink. To be fair, maybe I should have gone for the pickup with the loner before when it was kind of safe in the backfield. Might go for the handoff now actually. Probably should've gone for that should have gone for the handoff then. Ah, gotta gotta give away a three DB. Good strategy, Cotton. Yeah, they're just dicey. I think they're just dicey. That's why. That's why I just think elves are dicey. If, like, if you're playing somebody who's, if you're wood elves and you're playing a bad bash, the ace gonna blow. Oh, fuck. Oh, I rolled a one. Glorious. I got. I got away with one there, didn't I? I should have handed it off to a thing. I should have handed it off to that skin class turn. But um, got lucky again with this team. This team has has had some fucking good luck, to be fair. Right, so mighty broken going on the strength four guy then. Oh, 
like putting them on the sideline like there when they've got side stuff because nothing really bad can happen because of it, can it? I should re roll that because it was 75% knockdown, wasn't it? Andy Strength 4. Yeah, I should re roll that. Sure. <laughs> we just failed all of Jimmy's superior strategy. Yeah. Yeah, I should have absolutely handed it off. Yeah, I should have rerolled that, yeah. Because it was it was seventy with it being a seventy five percent knockdown with mighty blow on a strength four guy. Only punish one in thirty six times. I should have I should have used the reroll then, yeah, absolutely. But you know, I know my team has two rerolls and so that's yeah, that's definitely a failing a a, a failure of of play there. Definitely. I don't think conceding by accident or <laughs> You know, making a dodge back because you didn't see somebody is really a blood bowl failure. But um, that that was really a blood bowl failure. And hopefully, I'm punished with the death of my block. No. Both down, no balls. Surprised. Oh, damn it. It's just cheese. Okay. <laughs> And uh, score a touchdown foul, hopefully, in return. And, um, yeah, titty foul, and hopefully, bang on some fucking shithead. What else? Alright, so I'll be right back.
<laughs> Holy shit, that was bad. <laughs> Lucky dingo. Lucky dingo. I often do that. I often think I'll stand that guy up first and then just don't do it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh god, I just did it again. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm playing pretty bad here, aren't I? Eh? I went full Lori White. This is uh this is going pretty badly. But um luckily luckily I'm lucky. <laughs> right, hopefully this means he doesn't want to turn against me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! At least that was at least that was the right play. No, was it his drive? All right. Oh yeah, he scored, didn't he? He scored in two turns, randomly. Well, he only gets one chance for KOs then. Oh, and made them all. Lucky bastard. Lucky fucking bastard. Two, two wardens is out, and they both recovered. That's pretty lucky. Um. But there you go. Oh, Kerbal. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe how, how lucky you got there. 7 a.m., holy shit. Right. I'm going to continue eating. It's too hot, so I thought... Um, I was really distracted. That turn was so bad. I got so lucky to score. But wow, he got really lucky for making the KOs. But I guess he got unlucky for him. Wizard, didn't he? So, right. Anyway, I'm going to... Gonna mute myself again and try it with these now. Now, now that it's now that it's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was a lucky one. That's true, Dom tells. That's very true. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I shall. Uh, I shall. I shall mute myself while I eat again. Attempt to. I like the idea of Darth Vader just <laughs> just having a game of darts. <laughs> Darth Vader is actually pretty good. Could give it a Saurus, I guess. Yeah, why not?
Yeah, I was thinking I could be punished for the Saurus Ball, but here's the thing. I mean, he hasn't taken anything <laughs> with making his app or with the app on and the three coming back. It's just it's the protection against the water answer, though, isn't it? He can only uphill him now. Um which is just which is just great. So all I've got to do is just make sure I push forward and everything and uh <laughs> What race am I? Oh Goliath games, yeah. <laughs> barely human, is it? <laughs> He's barely human. Human Pina Cloud has done the clubs, yeah, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate tone. <laughs> am I still Darth Vader? Maybe I should try muting and unmuting and stuff. That's true, uphilling isn't even that bad. That's true. But I'd still rather re uphill the Saurus and then have my Edge Force King to recover than, um, than him two dicing my Edge Force King and then being completely fucked. Basically. does like getting his war dancers blissed by mighty blow tackle doesn't he like he keeps setting up whereby i can uh i can blitz them pretty easily now is that my good player his bad player i think it's his bad play personally no offense i don't think i'm doing anything amazing to get these hits on and he's finally punished One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. I'd rather get a hit on with him than I actually. I don't want to risk him boning, do I? But then similarly, I don't like giving away a skin kit up here. I guess I have to. That was a very bad push, should have pushed him to here. Um, because now he could have just stood up and it'd be an assist for that block. Whereas if I pushed him there, he wouldn't be assisting anybody. So that was a very bad push direction. Still rusty. Still rusty after the months off. Oh yeah, sexy beast race. Yeah, there you go. Nah, not going to go for through one. No, of course not. Yeah, and you, and you blitz the skink there. Yeah, but I need a power, and I'd rather go for 75% knockdown against Armour 7. Just need to thin the herd a bit, don't I? I'm not so bothered by the Warden, so now. And I was only one. Got plenty of time, but already, already over halfway on turn 10. So, you know, can just keep plowing forward now, I think. Just get try to get removals. Obviously, the mighty blow guy, the tackle guy blitzing a Warden is different to... Walk on one without it. Got to stay more central though, so I may have to give up the hit on the ward answer this time. Get more central. Three dice against a defenseless player is good, isn't it? Gotta go for that.
try the dodge out. Nah, I just stay where he is. No, when you're up on the only one who pu pushes you. <laughs> I didn't get forward though, did I? I wanted to get forward. I wanted to like get at least one square forward there, but going back more central is good now, isn't it? Because now I can push forward more easily next turn. Whereas if I'd gone down, pushed forward on this side, you could then double stack that. Yeah, I knew he'd fucking blitz him. Bastard. But I just had, had to keep it, didn't I? He can base the ball if he wants. And get smashed by a sword. I wasn't sure if he'd hit him without block or him with block. I might foul that catcher next turn. Because he is, he is a threat for the one turn, isn't he? Might be able to get really forward next turn. Fingers crossed. Get forward whilst punching war dance is the dream, isn't it? It's look like it looks like he's allowing it yet again. Wow, he's just left a hole. He's left a gaping hole. <laughs> Funnily enough, he hasn't elf screen correctly, has he? <laughs> um, because that is. A gaping hole. <laughs> Need to get this kink. The super stink in the cage with him. Got really far forward. That's ridiculous him letting me get that far forward. Now I wish I had four rerolls. Now I would have I would have agreed at that. But um can't. <laughs> I don't think I used an entire reroll in the first half today. I don't think so. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job that wasn't an uphill on the Sora too. I've banged him. Like that's the sad thing, the uh the uphill. The uphill isn't even bad, is it on the uh on the source. He's based the ball. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's managed to to facilitate a ball base. No, there's definitely no no chance of dodging when you've got a when you've got a sword ball carrier, is there? Oh man, get 
gets away from tail. Motherfucker. Frees up the tackler. Not bad. For me. Yeah, that was not the time to dodge away from the tackler, was it? Because now, just letting us get in to hit his war dancer again. With my e blow and tackle again. <laughs> right, four or five. Could make it three dice with him, that's probably better. That's the, that's the bad part about basing a Saurus ball carrier, isn't it? They're liable just to kick the fuck out of you. And I could minus 2D him. And then one nice the ball. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. So he has to be based to at least make it a little bit harder. He goes to there. Oh shit. Doesn't it doesn't it work, lad it? Hopefully, hopefully this holds despite him being in contact. Barry White is dreaming today. Yeah, it just happens sometimes, doesn't it? I don't know why. Working. Yeah, and funnily enough, I don't know if it's Discord or the microphone, actually. Um... I should test it with somebody on Discord to see if it's the microphone or not. Because when it when it stops picking up on Discord uh, on OBS, it's it's OBS, not the mic. Because Kurgo could still hear me in Discord. So yeah, I guess it is just OBS a bit fucked. No, it it doesn't have to be. Well, because occasionally um, it stopped. It stops picking up this microphone, OBS, but it it didn't stop picking up on Discord. So it's got to be, it's got to be something. It's got to be something up with OBS. Got to foul that war dancer, haven't I? The only bad thing is to foul him. You want to cage pretty close to him, and if you cage pretty close to him, his leap in is all the is all the easier. So I guess I want to have the ball hmm, walled off somehow. Dodges away from the tail again, motherfucker. Oh yeah, Sora's titty foul would be the dream, wouldn't it? Wow, one dice blitz again, like, there's no need, is there? There's no need to make them one dice blocks. No need at all. I don't think he's getting an amazing, amazing value from this guy being here instead of there. And in fact, he'd be better there because he'd be marking him down Saurus. But in in his head, he must think he's getting an advantage. By only making it a one dice, wasn't he? Cross out market is shut down. What? I knew the servers were down for maintenance. Um, before. Tackle on the war dancer is good, isn't it? Um, 
I don't want to foul the ward into them now, I really do, now that I've just lost a player. Like, it's just so shit that he can leap. So I'd have to, like, keep the ball here, so that he couldn't just leap in. Could just run away to cage over the other side, but then just can't blitz him. Fuck off away from the away from the war dancer. And then try to foul him next turn. The mega bunker, yeah. <laughs> Kinda need this crocs to work now, don't I? Wow. It worked even after I said that. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, that's great, that. And build the wall and then now it's going to play me. The pussy cage of the chastity belt. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing it to count the leap now. It's just to keep my fucking skink safe, isn't it? That's the <laughs> agility four skink is that is that valuable that he gets to be part of the cage. Given this guy's desire to blitz skinks, um, I think that's a good call. And also, he's near the ball, obviously, if uh, if he fails to recover after he minus 2D pals the Saurus. Oh shit, blitz, blitz the tackle. Dirty dingo. He's finally not going to get blitzed by Mighty Blow Tackle. But now there's a there's a hole there, isn't there? Another huge hole. Can make it a very, very strong position. I wonder if I can move him first. I guess I should, shouldn't I? Oh god, now it's a GFI. That's what you get for trying safe moves first. Try not the one in twelve nine six. Good. Oh my god, I've just done that and then that would be I didn't see that would be a dodge. Lucky. Have I blitzed? That works out all right in the end. Right, pretty strong, I think. Not that strong, though, is it? You can bit him and get in there. There's too much on one side. Stuff changed in crosser. Oh, man.
Got to open it. Cross out up there. Significant balance tweaks have been made. Oh, auto cannon. The the rapier is reduced to four. Oh, energy energy down on the rapier. That makes it a lot better. Reduce the damage of the equalizer. Reduce Thunderbolt's damage again. Wow. I oh, know the structure of the Thunderbolt. All right, fair enough. Goblin damage reduced by 20%. All right. Oh, damage increased by 20%. Wow. Fat man. Oh, oh man. They looks like they've nerfed it. Damage dealt by the rocket is reduced by 70%. Ripto missiles. Wow. Ripto missiles. No, they they, they nerfed all the weapons Saravok likes though. Wow. Right. Um if I blitz with him, that's four, five, six, seven if I get the uh Dude in. Croxy. No dodges. Check. Alright, three dice in it. No risks. Can't see what it is. Oh. Hit <laughs> lets me hit with mighty blow again. <laughs> They were, but that's a huge nerf, isn't it? 70%. There's nerfing something and there's fucking nerfing it, isn't there? Do I foul with no assists? Or, um... In fact, a defensive assist or with a few. I guess I've just got to foul with a few, haven't I? Oh, it doesn't matter because, um... Alright, it's just, it's just a spite foul. So let's go for his player. With a spite foul. Yeah, better to touch down foul the thing that helps the one turn. Yeah, that's true. It's just that obviously there'd be much more chance of removing the loner, wouldn't there? Um, and one less player makes the one turn that much harder. From the way he's played, I don't think he'll know how to one turn, but I'm not going to make that mistake again of uh, not defending against it. So, hopefully that's okay. Don't need to think too much about it, I don't think. Hello, VIP Sledger. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't cry if a, if a, if a Saurus rolled it, I could just take block, couldn't I? Um, or, or strength. Wow, the toe. The toe has been absolutely destroyed. Sidekick. Damage dealt increased by 100%. Wow. Change the mechanics of radiators. Reduce the speed of the... Ah. Radiators might be good then, eh? Charged radiator. You are Q20 to the game. Wow, that's crazy. Weapon cooler. Efficient. Oh, no. The improved cooler efficiency reduced by 70%. Oh, fuck off. Wow. 
Wow. Chameleon. One energy, that's interesting though, isn't it? Oh wow, he killed himself. Now cooldown is reduced, and duration is induced, but the energy is uh, is reduced. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Wow, 21 AV bricks from 37 blocks. Very lucky, whichever way you cut it. But I guess a lot of the blocks were with Mighty Blow. Like 16 of the blocks were with Mighty Blow, basically, weren't they? I'm actually more than 16. Ah, movement. Um, so, yeah, Mindy a touchdown away. 80k not worth buying a, a second skink, I don't think. Um... Yeah, I was in a queue. I was I got put in a queue to join it anyway. Right. Um thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.